Hello. We're here. We're live. It's Sci-Fi AR Gay Plays. I'm here with Justin. Hello, Justin. Hello. Say hello to Hi, the Hi, everyone. People. It's, it's almost stream. like we haven't been talking to chat for 10 minutes. We haven't. Uh, that was... Yeah, That n none of that happened. Um, no. We're just having a very pleasant time uh, looking at the game The Swapper. Mm. Tell me about The Swapper. What is The Swapper? Who are The Swapper? Is it a... Is it a futuristic elite? Uh, I, what, I know, what are we looking at? I know a few things about the Swapper. Um, I know that if I fiddle around with OBS while the Swapper is running, the Swapper hard closes. Uh, so that's why cool, we'll be staying cool. on this screen uh, tonight in its entirety, um, praying that the Swapper just works start to finish. I know that the Swapper came out 2013 or 2014. Um, I can't remember uh, the exact number because I'm bad at that. Uh, it came out of uh, Finland, uh, a country very close to my heart, that actually has an amazing science fiction scholarship scene, um, which includes looking at things like embodiment, which is very pertinent to this game. So I don't know how much of that bleeds Ooh. into the other, but um, oh, um, I'm very excited to discuss with you uh, embodiment in the context of this experience. And two. Uh, and hello, Saz. Hello, good round boy. Hello, hello. 2013 uh, says Crafty. Welcome. Thank you, Crafty. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, yeah, so when we ended uh, last Ooh. week's stream, when we defeated Pony Island, I asked you about that lovely sort of teleportation thought experiment that we've discussed so many times now. Uh, well, do you want to run it by uh, by me in the chat? Set, set me a beautiful, paint me a beautiful word, word picture. So I, I want to know, I want to know this. Well, I, I, okay, so I don't know, I, I, can, I can give you the basics, I feel like the ones that I've heard had a bit more embellishment, but the core idea was the same. I don't know if the okay. setup and additional context really adds much more. Or maybe it's just that I've encountered this sort of discussion in a few different pieces of media. But the basic idea is, if there was a teleporter yes. that annihilated your body in one location and recreated it in another, would you get into that teleporter? Yeah, see, this is interesting because the way that you're framing it linguistically mm. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. indicates something to me about your preferences. Welcome to Thought Experiments. Um, it's almost like the language matters. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about embodiment and thought experiments. So welcome to the thesis twins. Um, yeah, welcome to week. fucking welcome to our our fucking channel. Oh damn. Uh, but yeah, so I guess the the question would be about the continuity of of essence. Um, I yep. mean, to build something up from, if you could exactly replicate the individual particles and all of those sorts of things and the exact positions of the atoms relative to each other and all of that sort of fun stuff, um, then you wouldn't necessarily be destroying anything. You would you would be moving it from one place to another. E even though you are talking in the language of destruction and creation, I, I'm rejecting that wholesale is the premise of the uh, of the that's, thought experiment that's so interesting so you you actually completely get rid of those ideas because you've made a perfect copy elsewhere it no I, longer I matters think... that one one was created one didn't exist a second ago and had to be created and one stopped existing a second ago because it had to be destroyed i think if the hypothetical uh, otherwise you're setting up a hypothetical which which introduces the element of risk so on the very basis of the like just the base hypothetical which is there's no risk of anything going wrong mm -hmm. i think that's your starting point right and then there's well what if it's a couple of atoms off right yep. that's your that's your second thought experiment what if it's a couple of atoms off and you don't know which atoms you yep. know it's that it's that thing we've talked about about the game that deletes a file of your hard drive it could just be some text document that you opened up one time and you typed in three words into or a shopping list yep. it could be it, it deletes you know system 32 um you you don't know what it is and and for that to be your body um starts to become a bit of an issue so i guess when you introduce that element of risk that's when uh, our thoughts about teleportation start to coincide a bit more i think <laughs> yeah I, and i think this yeah. is the issue with the thought experiment in general and i think like this is one of the ways you can kick a lot of thought experiments over a bit is yeah you know is it is it a way to express an idea and talk about something interesting or is it something right. that you feel could actually happen and the moment you bring this into the real world where you can't make a perfect copy of anything ever yeah. um certainly not based on our current understanding of you know a lot i think it's safe to say um yeah i'm not getting in the fucking teleporter are you kidding yeah, right. me hell no but um right keeping in mind 
that um, I also have differing opinions with other people that I've talked to about the idea of um, there being a copy of myself, right? Right. Like anything involving sort of copying and replication, I'm not particularly on board with, I've discovered. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think there's a few different, like, angles you could come at it, right? Like, there's, there's definitely the, okay, so this is someone's proprietary software, and in order for this person to move you, because it is theoretically moving you, but it is also moving your data through a system, right? I, so I, what are the security protocols <laughs> on that system? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, um, what? In, in much the way yeah. that you rejected destroy, I reject move in this okay i reject that completely i don't that's not i i can't that linguistic that's interesting that, so that is that is linguistically incorrect move. to me and I, I can't get past that i'd, I'd like to but I, I just immediately feel myself hit that wall right interesting so what what word would you supplant it with i mean i think i've been using the right words I've, it, I, it just takes more of the sections of the call sorry oh sorry what I think I've I think I've missed certain sections of the call, which is a bit frustrating for me. Oh. I apologize. Um, but yes, yeah, so what word would you suggest instead of move? Um, I I I think I've said my words. Um, destroy, <laughs> create. Okay. Cool. You know, Interesting. Yeah. Um, it takes longer. I'll, I'll grant mm. you that than the word move. Move is neat, but move is um, it is not nearly close enough. It's not even close to me. Um, you know. I suppose. I suppose. I would say that we probably agree, but we don't necessarily agree with what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, I, so I just, I just want to, I yeah. just want to bring up a meta, meta thing that happens with us a lot, where we'll raise our voices and talk really intently, but we agree, and it yes. sounds out, yeah. from the outside like an argument, but we're both just having a very spirited discussion that is basically in the same lane. It's just, well, no, it's, it's on the same road. We're just in different lanes, just yelling yeah. at each other from the window of our cars. I don't drive. Yeah. I don't know if that... Do windows have cars? I don't understand the relationship so, between those two. So, Crafty's saying in chat that the uh, positive the experiment is that a portal is impossible, so the only way to do it is to destroy and rebuild. Um, I guess for for my... Like, I, I agree with that. I agree that that's what the experiment is positing. Mm -hmm. But I think that when we talk about... If the thought experiment is positing something that has a 100% success rate which is also, I believe, one of the constructions of the thought experiment, mm -hmm. then I would suggest that that is not actually... Like, destruction and rebuilding as terms contain within them the possibility that when you break something down, you will rebuild it differently, right? When, when you rebuild something, you're not it's okay, exactly so, duplicating it. So it, it's it's not precise enough language is, is why I would reject destroy. I mean, so much of this is it, probably even though I get as it. well, right? Like, so the idea right. of it being a move, the idea of it being a teleport... Let's throw semantics at each other. Oh, yeah, right. Um, the, the idea of it being... We need to start playing the game soon. <laughs> I'll, I'll give us, like, two more minutes. Um, I'll, I'll, give us a, I'll give us a good throw in a moment. Um, oh, I love it. I, I'm all about a good throw. Yeah, um, yeah so the idea of a, of a move in this context of feeling like you have continued from one place to another where it would feel like you have moved and in the sort of magical sense teleported that isn't the idea right. of that, that sort of that that idea of the self right for the for the yeah. version of you that gets built on the other side you made yeah. it you teleported you moved right for that for you that would feel true um but right. for the physical entity that got destroyed that's not what happened so it, right. It, what, so that so there is a sense that is that there is a there is an entity that ceased, and there is another entity that. I mean, th this is where you start to. I've heard you draw an analogy with sleep, which which puts us in a terrible discussion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, as as a as a fun before bedtime discussion, which is which is the idea that you also have that break of continuity when you are no longer awake i think so the I, I, there but, is a there is a question of should i go to sleep again because i will wake up in the morning and i will be a self that is in a slightly different location i um, think that aligning those two in this context is misleading i think putting them in the same that they have the same general shape but i do not think they are the same i so okay so i i guess the the distinction that i would say here and and the area where we probably I would say that if there's a hypothetical situation where, if we're talking about, you know, 
Elon Musk has built his Must teleporter. We? Um, I'm being I'm being topical and relevant here. Uh, of course, um, as always. Yeah, yeah. He's built a teleporter. It's proprietary software. It's going to, uh, you know, break you down uh, at one end. It's going to roll all the data down one of his fun tunnels that are basically buses, mm -hmm. not as good. And then at the other end, that data is going to be, you know, printed out with a 3D printer and then switched on and your experience of it is that you were at one end of it and now you're at the other end of it and and it was destroyed right that there was a destruction mm -hmm. of your physical self mm -hmm. what i would say there is at the point in the process where your self was digitized um that was actually kind of a stage where there was a cloning happening so really what's happening is is there is a duplicate that is that is being made yep and and then there is a there is somewhat something that is you know dying um yeah. so in that sense in in that kind of real world scenario yes that 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 sucks because because what do you like at what point do you f flip the other one off yeah mm -hmm. what if there's a power failure at, at one end of a middle finger as in what what point do you switch off your your clone self yep. um Yep. I mean, fundamentally, yeah. That that that's the thing that I d that I don't particularly like. When it's a hypothetical, that's just like, would you, would you teleport? Would you would you go between two locations? Yeah, but that's like to me, that's no different to asking if I would like a unicorn, right? Like it's yeah. it's got a, it's got as much depth. Uh, yes, let's do something else now. Like if there's no if there's nothing more to unpack and no way to account, nothing can you, you can't divorce things from context, and this has a context I think that is important. Um, Anyway, uh, I guess that the ethical question and the question that we will test, mm -hmm. that we will see in the game and, and see whether they mm -hmm. agree with you or agree with me. I imagine they agree with you. Um, <laughs> oh, but, you, you, uh, I'm going to surprise you, young man. Really? Um, because I, I would I would say that the, the test that's going to happen is, is whether adding depth and nuance makes this scenario suck or makes it spectacular. Does it make it just well, completely the... horrifying? This is these are the real questions. Let's uh, uh, let's play. Let's this see. Thank you, Finland. Again. <laughs> Look, you'll be thanking Finland um, to the nth degree when I trick all of you into moving there. Excellent. I look forward to it. What I love is that it appears to be a game that is playing. Is this Neptune? Have we come full circle? I would hope not. Neptune's a gas giant, right? Neptune is my IP. <laughs> okay, so, but is uh, it also a gas giant? Uh, oh, never mind. It's planet uh, Cori? No. Chori? Hang on. Neptune is not a gas giant, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, someone... Um thumping their hands against an escape pod window and the escape pod launches. Okay. Escape pod. Yeah. Yum about. This imagery is... Oh, that's exceptional. That I didn't think there? Neptune was a gas giant. I thought it was... I thought it was gaseous, but not giant. I'm being... I'm being hounded in chat. Good. <laughs> I love it. Okay, um, so um, we, we, I presume, are the um, person in the uh, escape pod. Now, I've, as I said, I've played a little of this. Well, which of, are we the person in the escape pod or are we the person prior to? I've, I'm wanting to know where the teleportation is. I imagine it's everywhere. It's going to, don't worry, it'll, it'll be, okay, so um, the mouse is look left. Or, oh, and I do have a little um, okay. cursor. There's a little reticle on screen, which is helpful. Um, uh, I, I'm wrong about Neptune. It's I, I apologize. You're just completely okay. I I would need to look it up. I'm not a, <laughs> but but I'm being told that I'm wrong, and I will concede. So these controls are interesting because you've got um, A and D left and right, but facing is determined by mouse. So I will often be running backwards because I just haven't moved the mouse to the other side of me. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, jump is space, and hold hold W... Oh, sorry, D W to jump. 
Oh, space also works. Well, I'm going to use space because my thumb's right there and I've played um, first-person shooters. Um, but it's got sort of fine control. You can do little jumps. Interesting. Interesting. Um, good round boy uh, positing. Uh, I'm curious about whether the first version of yourself in the scenario experiences the death. And this is the, this is the point that I, I think I was working towards there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very curious. Oh, okay. So we, we appear to, to have around. made it um, to a save point. I'm going to guess that this is sort of Alan Wake style. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't played Alan Wake, that was a very cool thing for me to say. Um, press E to call the lift. Cool. Press E to use. Hey, the I was right. You were right. So yeah, it's it's an ice giant. It's it's giant but far out. Um, Justin, are yes. you telling me that you were technically correct? The best kind the best of correct. Kind of correct. Yes. Um, I. Uh, yeah. There is a theory that uh, Neptune has clouds of diamonds, has a surface of diamonds, has a diamond core. It's something to do with diamonds. I've just been taught the um, cool stuff. I. Uh, I mean, okay, I'm being educated, but I've also just been taught not to sip hot chai while looking at chat. Uh, when Place of Old asks whether the new you is a better ver or is the best version of yourself, the better you, a good round boy says the you holding a can of V. It's fucking aspirational. Oh, okay, we've entered now Site 24. Excavation Site 24 on Planet Corey 5. All off-world transport via home teleport at base of installation. All finds property of the Sisyphus Project. Okay, so the door sort of irises. Are you still there, Justin? I am. Sorry, okay. I've been a bit quiet. No, that's all right. Um, I have had some uh, audio dramas. Um, oh, okay. I think it, it is chugging a little, but I uh, but I am still here. Okay. Um, man, that sucks. I'm not getting any dropped frames on the stream end. The I, dis I think it might just, just... Yeah, I'm, I'm just not quite hearing all of the conversation. And I'm going to blame any any space facts I get wrong on the choppy call as well. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. Okay, well, here's our map. So um, you'll be delighted to know that... Um, uh, yeah, home... I, I think it's my internet, sorry. Is your internet? Sorry to cut you off. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, I'm thinking the intention is for our character that we want to teleport off of this planet, right? Because we got into this base, and it says that there's a, a home teleport system. And we landed here via escape pod from what was presumably our larger ship or space station or something. Um, yeah, right. So, okay, let the platforming begin. So, Justin, what do you think is going to happen to us? What do you think this game is going to be about? I, I see, I, I'm seeing cogs and I'm imagining that there is something, some mechanic where we have to uh, sacrifice like one of us to solve a puzzle, you know, like, like, uh, um, yeah, like you're go you're gonna have to. Yeah. Well, I've I just I'm imagining something to do with bodies. Well, I've just picked something up. Uh, uh, try holding and releasing right mouse button in an open space. I look forward to it. What do we think of this? What do we think of this device? Okay, I. I'm just seeing it come up now. So I have, we have four men. What is this? Oh dear. This, this is a, this is a beautiful outline. Um, I, it just looks like a lovely man with a jetpack. Well, um, I'll wait for you to catch up with the horrifying moment that we've just had together. Oh dear. <sighs> Oh, good. Yep. Yep, so, yep. yep. So first you can copy yourself, and it's, it appears you can have as many as four copies running at the same time. The second thing is, if you connect with that copy, one of you dies, because now there's there just one of us. Yeah. Interesting. So so your motion is linked to the motion of your clone. Mm -hmm. We have a clone gun for a platformer. I think I've played a Flash game that's based on this. Oh, that's amazing. Because I... I have used 
not this exact mechanic, but a similar mechanic in a game before, and it is cool. Oh, make um, physical contact with clones to reclaim them. Reclaim, I wonder what that means. The body just I, falls to the floor, that's cool. But hang I, on, is, is it a body or is it the suit? Is it just the suit? Yeah, yeah, oh, so this is interesting. That is interesting. I mean, it thought. says it says clones, so I would say that... Well, yeah, he, say here's that what's great. Be a person. Um, this is a clone of me that is standing yeah. on a button and holds down the button so that I can leave. There will be no reclaiming. Just left him this... behind. That's fine. Okay, let's let's just remember Gary, <laughs> who's just like up against a wall for the end of time. Oh, um, sorry. I just I, I need to start playing this game and making making all the clones in the world. Um, I believe the protagonist is female. I think that's what it said online. Oh, sorry. Did I just uh, gender our protagonist? Um, well, you, ge uh, you gendered a clone. And I don't know how gender okay. works with, you know, with See, that. Uh, I don't know how gender works, Justin. I, so. Normally, I would say they, but it's interesting that because we're talking about cloning, I'm immediately thinking about the self. Yep. So I'm immediately thinking about, you know, me. Um, uh, what who... about, <laughs> Justin, you're thinking about yourself. Me, what, Gary. what about four of you that only exist to drop for oh dear oh wow okay well now we know how the other clones cop it step into the light and lo and behold um every previous version of yourself is annihilated interesting so that's like the that's the at the end of the level in portal when it just gets rid of all your portals yeah that's that's going to be interesting yeah uh, press um, E to interact with a memory terminal. Oh, we have logs. Okay. Uh, hey, combi. Oh, we have a combi. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, all right. Time to get reading. Uh, log zero security memo from Churi 5 Excavation Site 24, which is where we are, to Theseus Xenotechnology Research. So I think the Theseus was the ship that we were escaping from at the start. I think I'm right about that. Okay. Uh, well, body. The the Theseus is also obviously related well not necessarily not obviously but it is related to embodiment um have you encountered the ship of theseus i imagine it's come up yeah um i'm just yeah so the word theseus i'm like that's a familiar word that's a classical word ho ho yeah. and now you've said ship of theseus and i'm like i'm a i should have known yeah. from the beginning yeah no that's um god i can't wait till we play the cheering test um that game is rife with nonsense of that sort Sh ship of Theseus, for anyone that doesn't necessarily mm, know, please. is the ship that is um, replaced piece by piece. Um, and uh, the question is, uh, if a ship that is replaced piece by piece until none of the new pieces uh, are pieces that were in the original ship, uh, do we have a new, a completely new ship? Um, you can push the thought experiment further by saying suppose that every piece that I removed from that ship I then used to build another ship um, so now I have two ships that are com all parts at one point of one ship um, yeah uh, it's, yeah. it's a fun analogy uh, that that pushes you in some directions around cloning well, you know and it, it, it um, leads to the discussion of um, how often things in our own body get replaced right that's sort of the refresh cycle of the biological form yeah crafty using the example acts of my grandfather which is yeah, which yeah. is a good analogy I, I like that one better because you just re it's just got you replace the head of the axe <laughs> yeah then you replace the handle of the axe now what's happened to the original yeah so, yeah um, um, all right so uh, log one I don't know parts of a ship um, Shuri 5 to Theseus. Body. Listen, we're grateful, but to be frank, half my team refused to be in the same room as one of those swapper devices. I hardly envisage their use becoming widespread enough to justify the security precautions you've installed down here. <laughs> okay. And I love that um, because we're a video game protagonist, because we're a player playing a protagonist, we just fucking picked it up and used it immediately. We, we had to. There wasn't a moment of ickiness. It was like, fuck yeah. Let's just let's just do this. Yeah, uh, it's it's good fun. We've we've played three games so far where we just pick up the oh, game. Oh, oh. We're expected to do something. Sorry, there's some radio. Ooh. 
radio uplink. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what to make of that. Uh, press Q to show full map. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. We came down there. Yeah, cool. We've got two doors below. Okay. So I'm guessing the point of that dialogue was to sort of illustrate that, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, who did I just send into space? But well, yeah, a clone. But yeah, as, as I was saying, we've had three games in a row where we've been handed tools and then the game has questioned, what are you doing using those tools that we just gave you? Yeah. You monster. Yeah. Okay. That's been true of, um, Donut County, Pony Island, and now the Swapper. I mean, that was true of um, uh, Superhot as well, which I played um, yeah, right yeah. before you joined in, um, because it was a game that we possibly shouldn't have been playing because it was entirely possible that it was a VR um, housing device for assassins. Yes. Yeah. Good fun. Oh, I, I can't interact with this now. Okay. Let's just go down and... No? Oh! Oh, I've picked up an upgrade to the device. Well, here it gets even worse. I can create a clone and then swap to it. And hence the swapper. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Right. So I don't think we're just making more suits. <laughs> no, I think... In, in um, case we hadn't resolved that question yet. Yeah. Yep. Is it murder if it's just you? If it's just hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of you. Sorry. Oh, did my audio go bad? Can't be created inside blue light. Oh, shit. That's intriguing. Uh, okay, so here's where we get the first of the... Um, Okay, so I think oh, <laughs> that, okay, the fall damage immediately destroys, uh, while, while two of me look on in sort of, maybe not disgust, but at least kind of like, huh, hmm, that's, that's not exactly what I was after. Okay. Um, Yeah, I, I'm I'm losing some of the call. Sorry. Oh. Um, so I I will. Uh, yeah. If you, which if you... which is is great unless uh, we're having a deep philosophical discussion. Yeah. Um, and I'm not hearing the other side of it. Um, um, uh, we could we could do the disconnect. Try again. Just drop uh, the call and. Uh, let me just mute myself for a moment, and uh, I'll see if I can fix it on my end. I'll be okay. back in a moment, so right. I'll just leave you to uh, imagine just a stream that's just you. Uh, couldn't work. Well. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'll be back in a moment. All right, see you shortly. So I think what I have to do is... Ah, okay. I was going too far. Can I switch between... Oh, of course, that just does that. Yeah, okay, I can just cruise out again. All right, cool. Cool. We will... It's just another puzzle. That's fine. Okay, this blocks swap arrays. Noted. Hmm. How's chat doing? How are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, there appears to be a hearty amount of um, delay uh, this time, which is unfortunate. Um, oh, I should actually, like, sorry, let me just, um, just doing some Discordy resizing stuff so I can actually just have the Justin chat visible to me at all times. Hey, Hello. So if he, if he, hey, you're back. I am back. I, I, um... I withered without you. I'm so sorry uh, to have abandoned you so. Um, Lol, it's chill. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, just uh, 
fun fact. Uh, our downstairs neighbors also use our internet. Um, cool. It's yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's cool. Like we we have an agreement that we can share internet. Um, but I think they might be uh, downloading something large. So uh, I hope they enjoy it. Everyone in um, everyone cheer for my neighbors. Uh, I uh, shan't. <laughs> that's a shame. Um, yeah. So I hope it's cool. Whatever they're downloading. Um, red light blocks swap arrays. Interesting. So, I so can't... you can still place a clone, but you can't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, can't, I can't become that. You person. can't then swap them. That makes this very difficult. Okay. So what I need to do then is create one up here. Um, nope. That was okay. Never mind. Just. Hmm. Just to be that person, you know. Uh, to be that person. What have we decided on a name for the clones? Have oh. we? Um. Oof. I mean, meat is really the only. I'm currency really glad that I'm not hearing the crunch as they fall. That is now being highlighted. It's not massive, but it's enough. You know, there's a. It's got a. It's got a gravity to it. Okay, Dear log two. Me. Log two. Site twenty four. Internal message. Sam, I need a security orb. I have been planet side for weeks. I cannot get clearance back to Theseus. Help me out, Kim. I can't. I want to see my husband as much as you do yours. Okay, so security orbs are a thing that we need. Thank you for letting us know. I do like that we can check any of these logs good. out again. We can just like I can just press F and toggle any of these <clears throat> logs. That's good. That's that's good. Good work. Oh man. The fact that there is a swap array means that in these situations where there are two of me, the one who has the swap array but decides not to use one, right? Like, I guess... Yeah. So, so the question we're not... The thing we're not um, actually talking about here that I've just realised is because you've got these simultaneous controls, it, Yeah. I think it might be more of a hive mind situation. Otherwise, why would you get the linked movement, right? Yeah, I guess... Yeah, I, I, I guess you, what you're essentially doing is you are, yeah, distributing your con consciousness, right? Mm -hmm. You are, you're sharing it between multiple entities. Um, yeah. Yeah, this, this is a networked person. Yeah, um, and that is admittedly much more interesting, but then immediately less icky, I guess, right? Yeah. I'm no, I'm no longer skeeved by it. But see, this this is the interesting thing, right? How is that different to the idea of, uh, like, you have your consciousness transferred to someone else, and then they're it, it to a new body, and then that body is uh, your original body is destroyed. Um. See, that's something I need to sit with and unpack because it is absolutely different for me. But I don't have the words, so I've got the feeling. Mm. Um. And I need to address that, right? And this is the thing about all of this is, you know, I, I started this whole, back when we first talked about teleporters and I hadn't thought so much about this sort of thing and indeed hadn't done research into, you know, consciousness and embodiment and all of that. I had my feelings and now um, I've discovered new things and they haven't changed my feelings. They have followed the same route largely. Maybe yeah, there's more yeah. nuance there, but by and large, I've continued along the same path. And that's not to say that I only researched and enjoyed things that... Um, confirmed my feelings because I've had other things turned around. I've had other views, you know, pushed yeah, over yeah. and, and subsumed um, by the research journey, which has been amazing. Um, but this particular stuff has stayed true. So, um, yeah, I need, to, I need to think about that because what we are talking about now is personal preference, like why I would prefer one to the other, why one is more interesting. And in fairness, if there was really, a way to sort of distribute Crafty my raises a really good point, which I think basically um, breaks the thought experiment... Um, the idea of whether consciousness is external to the body or a function, a process of the body. Yeah, um, yeah. Because if mm. it's a process and each individual different kind of version of it, but you break that continuity, you're then having separate experiences of the world. You're not experiencing it as a combined mind. Um, um, were you putting in dramatic pauses there? that takes place 
Okay, I don't. Sorry? Think, I don't. I don't think you're putting in dramatic pauses. I think. Um, I think you're just cutting in and out. Um, that is unfortunate. Oh no. Yeah, just a, a couple times it was in enough of a place that I'm like, is Justin pausing for effect? Is he pausing to collect his thoughts? And then it literally like ate a, a, a statement um, and made it. Um, there we go. So, there we go. Well. Feel free to, I'll release all of my um, takes as a mixtape afterwards. You can download it from my SoundCloud. Well, here's the good news. Good news, Justin. Um, Excellent. Future episodes will hopefully have you in the same room. And therefore, that would audio be problems, fantastic. Yeah, audio problems won't be an issue. So, I mean, that also means that we can spend the time um, between now and next week thinking about our respective positions. Um, yes. And this week, yes. I think we just got to we just got to play the game. Um because yeah, That's I I, I, wa I really want to hear your your deep points, and it's just the the internet monster is just biting chunks. Well, what I would do is I will drop bite-sized chunks of idea. Okay. I would deliver the clickbait version of my thoughts, oh, and oh. tune in next week for the thrilling conclusion. Okay, so we heard a audio log saying the ship I came in here, the ship I came here in is fried. Um, a rescue team will be here in a day, and then somebody else talking, and then why not, and then something something. So I'm not sure whether the 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 way this game is going to work. I don't know if that's us and we're just another version, or whether we're trying to find the other people who also got fucked over down here in the planet. Interesting. I, yes, uh, I'm curious about this. I'm also curious about the giant mushrooms. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this. It's also a darker game. I mean, it, it's actually looking pretty good on the stream. I think the laptop might be a little darker than um than the than the external monitor I'm using. And that's fine. Like, I can still see what's going on. It's just, it's so moody. What the shit? Teleport offline. Okay, this is the um, one more encryption orb is required to access the teleport activation console. Okay, so encryption orbs are basically the dongles that um, <laughs> turn machines on. Interesting. What What is being encrypted on the orb? That's a great question. Or, or is the orb required to decrypt the system because it has like a like it has like a key? Oh no! I know. I know where the answer is. The hashes with it. Or I know. Like I that. know what the answer is. Yeah. Blockchain. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a there's a a, a series of keys that hash together to create a. Yeah. Okay. Voice again saying I, I I won't do it. You can't make me do it. What is? Okay. Log three. Message to quarantine from. Shory 5 excavation site 24 to Theseus Quarantine. So Theseus Quarantine being, you know, in the in the station around the planet. Uh, body, we need a faster turnaround down here. The last shift was supposed to go home six hours ago. Instead, you've got them shipping back more rock samples. They're tired. Please advise. Hmm. So rock samples and quarantine. So they've been quarantining rocks. Okay. Cool. Cool. Man, it's a good thing that quarantine is not something we have to think about right now in 2020. It's curious to me whenever a game has logs that you don't need to read. When it just puts lots of logs alongside the gameplay, but you could just play this game. Like, um, I can't imagine playing this game just as a platformer. Um, I've watched some streamers. because now, now, I've broadened my repertoire and I've watched more people play games than just the one or two that I was. And admittedly, I haven't broadened it far, but I've now seen a handful of people who are aggrieved by any amount of text in voice form or text log form. Um, and for them, it is very preferable that the game explain itself without those so that if that stuff adds to it, it's all gravy, but they don't have to read it necessarily. Um, which I have, I have a lot of mixed Elected feelings to about. to lead, not to read. Well, the thing is, if you're, if you're streaming, it does. if you have to do a lot of reading, it starts to get onerous. I have been in that position before where I've played games where there were no voice lines of dialogue. And so I had to do all the work. And that was fine because not every game studio can afford yeah. that or should have to afford that. But as a streamer, like as a game player, I would just read through it and it would be fine. But because I was reading it to an audience and I felt I had to, 
And that's another thing to unpack as well, like whether I should have had to do that, whether that was a correct... Um, oh, interesting. Well, I, for one, support our reading program. Okay. Uh, Monogon orb, orb acquired. Oh, heavy breathing. Swap. Oh, I liked that. I really liked that. Because what is this? We... Um, uh, the, there was a little moment of something I could hear, presumably over the radio, and I heard heavy breathing, and then I heard the sound of a swapping device. But I know it was the sound of a swapping device because of the subtitles. I would not have picked that up otherwise. I'm not listening to the game loud enough, and the sound isn't, I think, unique enough um, at this volume, certainly. But I heard somebody breathe heavily and then, and then swap, and then, you know, move from one body to another. What are the chances that someone is arguing with the versions of themselves they've made about what to do? Hmm. I think one of the problems that this game has conceptually um, Oh, bugger. Okay. Um, yeah, Justin's letting me know in the, in the chat um, uh that he's losing a bunch of my sentences. Okay, all right. Um, balls. Yeah, let me um, let me just. I'm I'm still here. Oh, okay. I can still say things and hear things. But you, you're just not um, catching everything I say. Yeah, yeah. I'm losing huge chunks. Okay. And presumably you're losing huge huge chunks of what I'm saying as well. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, here's the pitch. Um, I think we push for another fifteen. You know, we we push yep. until eight. We play a little bit more. Um, we say what we need to say to sort of play and have a good time. Um, but we, you know, I, I'll, I'll try and table my deep thoughts. Um, and yeah, we just do a one hour stream tonight um, and then reconvene in person. Um, I love it. I, I, I apologize because we do have such a, we have quite a populous chat this evening. Yeah, we, I, uh, people, have, people have really come out and I, I yeah, it's, it is a shame. Um, the, the other option, um, and this might be a bit uh silly okay uh, I, I love silly things. Be, if if you just want to have the theoretical discussion um we could just have the chat without me watching the game at all um oh okay this, where it would be just me relying on audio just because i think that might i don't know i don't know what's going on though yeah um, okay um yeah i mean visually it's just a lot of these really interesting puzzles so and I yeah, would be yeah, reading yeah. everything out to you as well. Yeah, you're, um, you're right. I'm, I'm just trying to think of ways that I could mitigate the audio issues. Um, yeah. The other thing... Yeah. The could other you... thing is, if we if we do have, like, a five, ten minute break, I could try and rectify it. But... I mean, I'm happy to take a break if you want to give it a go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah. I... If, if well, we can't fix what if it, it... Um, there's also the option of, um, I mean... I don't know what your data is like on your phone, but could you like watch it off the Wi-Fi? Like watch it over mobile data? Just that's on a, a on that's a, a good screen? score. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It, there's, I'm not quite sure uh, what's going to be a good uh, good experience for folks, but um, what I'll do is I will mute myself and I will try and find something that uh, that works. Um, so if you want to play through for another five minutes or something right. while I try and figure that out. Yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, um, I'll continue to dick around. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Because uh, we should have some entertainment for the people. We should, we the should. People. Yeah, we're still live. They've come out in such numbers. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Sick. So, yeah. See you in a couple of minutes. I, uh, I'll still be around, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, go. Cool. Alright, turning on this draconian looking teleporter. It looks like it was modelled out of clay. There was um, the, the, the Neverhood, I think it's called. A claymation point-and-click adventure game that I loved as a kid. It was one of those few games that I saw a trailer of and was excited by and then was able to procure. That did not happen much in my youth. Um, games were alien things that I just couldn't get. Oh, E to teleport back to Space Station Theseus. Okay, well, we're just going back to the space station. Um, dope, let's do that. What could possibly go wrong? Teleport offline. Well, it broke immediately. Oh, but we are on the ship. 
Wait, this is the ship that we flew away from. In an escape pod. Okay, I'm starting to think that this is one of those games where we are playing a character who has much more complex, nuanced, perhaps even devious or strange motives that we as players don't know until it is, you know, important to point it out. And then we'll be told, oh, this is why you were doing all of these things. This is why you were leading this person around the garden path. Interesting. Does that just say teleport offline? It does. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, welcome to Space Station Theseus. <laughs> so that was, um, there was a moment of mild, um, a kind of body horror. Because we've been seeing so many copies. Whoa, what the fuck? Uh, so that's wild. Step in front of a big rock. Big Rock has something to say. Uh, to my previous point, uh, a kind of body horror here because of all these suits, right? Because I've seen repeated times now uh, a copy of this, our hero, a clone, that has been discarded slash um, absorbed into the form. And then here, they're just a bunch of suits, presumably empty. But it was it was enough to um yeah give me the give me the Wiggins right just in this context ah oh, that's wild and then this is just so arresting that's magical and it slows my movement down considerably you cannot accidentally miss this moment and I wonder if that was a play design choice um, so that people couldn't just you know. Skip this. This matters. You had to experience this. Um, cool. I, I I see and recognize you, Justin. Uh, switching devices. I uh, I pray for you. I don't. Um, I don't. I don't pray. So you know. Uh, no shade on people who do. Um, okay. Another teleporter. What is the advantage of this teleporter? Where is it going to take us? Right? Teleporters up. We got to the station. Where are we trying to go? It's a platformer. So, you know, um, you're trying to get to the next area in a platformer. And that's the advantage of a platformer, I will say. You really can um, flesh out. As you, you, can, um, you can guide a, a player through the space. Perhaps way more easier than if it was a um, uh, 3D game. Section 1. Public. Did that work? not work? I can't. Didn't work? Is that not the lift button? I thought it was the lift button. Oh, okay. It works. Maybe it just takes a long time. Um, alright, well let me just, um, no, hang on, let me check there. Okay, that is in fact completely separate. Mysterious rock sample. Okay, cool. We recognize and acknowledge that was a mysterious, hang on, that wasn't what we passed, was it? I'm just going to backtrack real quick. No, that's... Oh, there's the mysterious... So there's another mysterious rock there? I thought we met a mysterious rock this way. Sorry, I'm just making sure that I'm oriented on the map correctly. Yeah, this is not a mysterious rock sample. This is? Is it because we haven't interacted with it yet? Maybe that's it. Maybe they stop showing up on the map after we've found out what they have to say. That would be weird. That would be very strange. Hmm. Alright. Alright, cool. Uh, no worries, Justin. Feel free to drop off the call. I will accept your call um, when you return. Let's go down a lift. <laughs> uh, Saz pointing out I would definitely want to quarantine a talking rock for what it's worth. I agree with that. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna agree with that. The limits of language are the limits of knowledge. Our name was not their knowledge. They thought of us as watchers. What a... The limits of language are the limits of knowledge. I'm trying to unpack how much I agree slash disagree with that. That's a tricky one. I think it is incorrect. I think that is an incorrect... I think language is one of the ways that knowledge can become limited. But you can you can not have a language and you can still yeah, learn things. Like knowledge far exceeds language, yeah, 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 yes yeah, as. I I yep, I'm with you. It's just it's so I think a lot about the relationship between language and knowledge and the ability for language to help convey knowledge. And I think this is where the two become linked. Um, but yeah, yeah, knowledge far exceeds language. Yep. Got it in one, says. Um, our name was not their knowledge, they thought of us as watchers. Anyone else getting a little over certain kinds of sci fi uh, broad names like watchers or makers or, you know, you've got, you've got some ancient race and then you put. Um... Oh, is, do we have a Justin back in the call? Not yet. Not currently. That's fine. That's fine. All good. I will continue to explore. Grab objects by facing them and holding E. I love to drag things. Hello. Hello. Am I back? You are back. Well, you're back for me. Hang on. Um, is he back for chat? Hello. Sound off in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, you sound good. Uh, Crafty says dulcet, which implies that you sound good. <laughs> that's that's a pretty strong uh, sentiment that I uh, agree with. Audible, hooray. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, excellent. Okay, so that's pointing out that the alternative to calling them something like the Watchers is they're called the Greslaxi or some shit. No, that's true. Things like Watchers and whatnot are... Um, uh, it, it, it helps. Am I back? You are back, yes. Did you go? Oh, spectacular. Uh, hopefully I'm, I'm good. Uh... Weirdly, when I was not talking, I um, pretty much heard most of the conversation. Uh, so I don't know what's going on, but um, I'm back here. Wait, with so you. when you weren't talking, you didn't hear much of what I was saying, or when I wasn't talking, I heard almost everything you were saying. So I think the the solution to my tech issues is I need to shut up. So <laughs> this will be a true test of my strengths oh, but, as a streamer. But I want to talk with you, man. <laughs> I, I think we should be good. Uh, let's give it a go for a little bit. All right. Um, we'll, and we'll, and we'll see on. how we go. Uh, the game has progressed quite a bit in the last little bit. Hey. Like, yeah. I, I, drop out, I have tech issues for 10 minutes and suddenly. Well, so did, my you, goodness. did you miss anything of what happened? Uh, so, uh, I there was a large, uh, like, literal hive, I guess. Um, that started chatting to you. Yeah, a big, um, a big rock, a big porous rock. Oh, see, I was thinking it was like honeycomb because uh, oh. I wasn't. I was watching it very tentatively while I was trying to sort out tech. So I yeah, was thinking yeah. like the, it's a nest of some kind. Um, it's just a large porous rock. Well, well the, I suppose they were saying they were quarantining rocks. Yeah, it there. says mysterious rock on the map as well. I don't. I definitely don't want to harsh your buzz. I would prefer to think of it as a hive. But no. Well, it it might be, yeah, maybe maybe none of these cool scientists in space know what a rock is. Um, there's always a, a possibility. There's always a chance. Um, yeah, rock rocks are difficult, yeah. you know. I I totally agree. Rocks are hard, Justin. Um, uh, anyway, the um, limits of language are the limits of knowledge. <laughs> I uh, no, cool. <laughs> yeah, we solved it. Yeah, uh, those are my thoughts. In case anyone was wondering, my thoughts. It it's. It's funny because, like, yeah, seeing Saz's point, hearing you say it, I'm like, yeah, of course. Like, I, I got stuck on it, and it's that thing of hearing something. Um, there are certain phrases that are phrased in a way, it, you know, to be clever, right? Yep. And it's possible I spend a little bit too much time, like, poised, uh, you know, a finger upon chin, elbow upon knee, trying to sort of, you know, puzzle it out. 
Um, yeah, I've, I'm a bit embarrassed that I didn't come to the same conclusion quickly. Oh, well, the, oh the shit, only I mean quarantined. Other read. Oh dear. The computer has decided that, um, God, this is... We're being quarantined, but you will note that we are not trying to get rid of the device. I see. The device is probably what they're quarantining, and yet... Are we trying to break free of the quarantine? I guess we're going to have to. Again, I don't know the motives of our character. Survival feels right because yeah. we crashed from a pod, but we've just... The, the pod left Theseus, as far as I can tell, and now we've just teleported back to Theseus, so I don't know what we're doing. Is there a read of the the limits? I, I'm just still stuck on the limits of our um, language and the limits of our knowledge. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a read of that, which is that what they're simply saying is we know everything about everything. <laughs> and so, in fact, uh, we are we are unbounded in our, in both our knowledge and our ability to communicate. Yeah, we, we have infinite language, so don't even sweat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, we can communicate anything that needs to be communicated. Yeah. We are actually just crushing it. Well, we've, we've, we've entered Puzzle Town. So... <laughs> You're, you're being quarantined. We don't definitely don't want you to leave with that really cool alien device. But trick, the alien device is the only way to leave quarantine. And in fact, it's the only way to get um, the special orbs. They have yeah, this is very this is very close to the witch trials, right? This is the whole... Well, <laughs> yep. well if they did sink, they, they were clearly uh, a good Christian woman. Um, uh, <laughs> they are... Um... No, it's gone. I had a thought and it's gone. And that's fine. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you do fly off cackling on a broom, it turns out you were a witch after all. Um, this is very much that same principle applied in a, in a puzzle platformer. God, this, this is going to be difficult. So the way that this game was... Um, uh, when, I, when I heard about this game... Right. The way I heard it described was that um, if you click fast enough, you can technically fly. Like a clone gun gives you the power right. of limited flight. And I'm waiting uh -huh. for that puzzle to turn up and I'm not happy about it because um, quick, accurate clicking is not necessarily my forte in a, in a sort of puzzle platform setting. What am I trying to do here? Okay, so I can't swap to the... Shit. Sorry, clone. You are worthless to me. I can't, I can't switch to this clone, but Four I can clones. walk that clone. Yeah, right. And you can switch to the one further down, which will allow you to walk further, uh, I guess. No, there we go. Yes, so blue light restricts creating a clone. Red light restricts traveling to that clone. Right, right. So you can create the clone up in the red. You just can't swap to it. Yeah. So, um, and again, this it's, brings up the point yeah. of, um, is it a true copy of yourself? Or, like, wh what do we mean by a copy of self? Because the primary version... Um, is the only one that can operate terminals and pick up orbs. Yeah, yeah. But that primary version is not uh, tied to a particular body, to a particular vessel. Yeah. And again, it's... it's, And this is the, the, the idea that, you know, um, the, the, the brain and the identity, who you are, can be turned into information and copied and flung around is something I've yelled at ever since I started this channel and that will continue to happen. My hair yep. is... Um, well, Dance and K pointing out that bacteria live inside crevices and stalactites and stalagmites, which are technically rocks. So I guess you there know every rock is a hive, is a is a hip, is a hip joint. Oh, another log. That's that's a cool phrase. Um, um, oh yes, I I, I must read. Um, log four. MSG. MSG to site twenty four. Uh, from Theseus quarantine to uh Jory five excavation site twenty four. Body. The chief of quarantine understands the pressure this puts you under, but stresses that these rock samples are of unparalleled scientific interest. As such, we must request that you continue to prioritize sample teleport over personnel. It wow. took me an embarrassing period of time to realize that MSG is referring to just message rather than to monosodium glutamate. I was... I mean, this, this little bit of plot is tasty. Yeah. Absolutely. And I believe, looking at chat, that everyone has had the same <laughs> thought as well. Yep. Delicious umami. Um, correct, Saz. Correct. Yeah. 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 The, the, the best food additive um, that we have. 
the best food additive apart we have from, here is apart that, from um, maybe heat. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I took the orb and all of my clones just fell over dead. Good God! It's just so evocative. Like, it's very, it's. You know what's strange to me is that this whole game is so distantly third person. Like, I think mm. that if we're talking about it as, if if the the two examples that we have here are one that's very embodied and you really feel the character and then you feel the next character and you live their their moments and you experience it as them, then having this very kind of third person out view couldn't possibly convey that. So it really is steering it towards the more hypothetical fun, let's play with clones version of the thought experiment narrative. Yeah, it's... um. Because we are so distanced, we just we never get inside, and I, I hope we never get inside this character's head. Actually, I hope they remain mysterious yeah, yeah. in a way. Um, because can that you imagine if required. it's like the second act is first person? <laughs> oh man, that would that would be wild. I think people would so would shit because there are people who play platformers because they don't want first person and vice versa, right? But um, right, right, that would be so good. Um, also, I wanted to make a joke, but you had a lot of good points. But I was going to say, um, technically, this game could be as many as fourth person. Um, because of the amount of clones I can create at any given time. Oh, that's good fun. I was going to make a comment about the gig economy, but your joke's better. <laughs> oh, um, the fucking gig economy. Okay. <laughs> um, the world is the limit of thought. Okay, so now we know exactly the sort of individuals we're dealing with here. The limit of thought is the chain of hearers like me. I cannot speak if they cannot listen. This is becoming vacuous. Hang on. The limit of thought is the chain of hearers. So they're saying that the limits... So this is uh, boxing in their comments about language and, and thought, right? Because yeah. the, the, the way that language is shared is uh, what determines what can be known, um, which suggests that the only way of communicating things is through verbal language that can be heard audibly, um, which is not correct. That's not <laughs> how... That's not the limit of human communication. Um, well, I mean, we're, yeah. this is an alien rock, right? Is it the yeah, limit I mean, of alien communication in this in the, this? Uh, the idea that communication can only be communicated verbally is slightly undermined by the fact that we are reading this text <laughs> on a screen. Yeah, yeah it's true. It's true. <laughs> and Saz pointing out, um, this game is getting ableist. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's the other direction. But yeah. both of them, yeah, it's, it's... What is where, how is where, does where tick? Uh, this is this is fortune cookie. <laughs> this, this has stopped being deep, I think. Oh my goodness. We found my um, notebooks from first year philosophy, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I oh. can't believe. What is where? Who is the now? We know only of the minds in our chain. You choose your chain in a dimension we do not know. Okay. Here's what I think they're shooting for. This device that we're using is an alien device. Yes. And the fact that we humans have used it and is and it's very weird and strange only goes to yeah. demonstrate that when they used it, it was completely normal. Like their, yeah, their yeah, conception yeah. of self is fundamentally different. We have a hip and groovy alien sense of self. Get on board, yeah. folks. Oh, okay. Did I did I murder did I murder my clone in that tunnel? Okay, that's cool. I mean, I like the idea that all of these, you know, when is now is who is where, uh, leads to just them trying to get us to worship their queen, um, <laughs> so that we will send our drones to die for the hive. Yep. There's not enough queen. There's not enough like hives and queens anymore. Yeah, you that's. Know? I want to return to insectoid monarchy. I just, I just don't. I mean. I don't see it anymore in the media that I have encountered, but um, I don't know that I encounter... I don't know that I... Uh, my tastes are far-reaching enough these days. Right. That does frustrate me. Like, that that sense of, like, oh, where did this go? You know, why isn't this thing around more? And then having to stop and be like, well, it's possibly because I just haven't been looking for it, or I haven't been looking at the right things. It's easy to be like, oh, you know, this thing disappeared, but if you're not across the form, then what are you actually saying of, of, of worth? Hmm. Justin, this appears to be a puzzle. Interesting. Uh, some good discussions about MSG 
uh, in the chat. Oh, that that one that I'm one was not a wet. To read. That one was a wet drop. I I still haven't heard a single clone fall. I've been lucky. You um, wait. You wait till next week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crank the volume on this next week, and you will know. What am I doing <laughs> with my life? <laughs> This is a, a broader question, even than I am equipped to to comment on as a cool cool philosophy boy. Crap. Nope, I botched it. Have to have to kill one of me. What does killing you do in this scenario? Oh, that allows you to reset some stuff. Um no, um I didn't like it. The killing of me was an accident. Whoops, is the technical term. Right. I walked too far, and because the version of me up on the ledge was also walking, it just walked backwards. Walked backwards and fell. Oh, I death. see. Like, I want you to imagine that, that you walk backwards and then you fall 10 feet and die. It's hard for me to imagine that, but I imagine that if I was a communal consciousness, I would have experienced that many times. Yeah, it's... um. Which, that doesn't sound pleasant. No. No, and I think I think I like that version, this version of the game best, where it's this idea that we are brushing up against a very different conception of self and physicality, and this game is exposing yeah. how horrible that is through weird puzzles that were made by humans and not by the aliens, which makes it kind of yeah. It's just that thing that games do, where it's like here's a well, wacky concept, and then here are all the you know. Uh, here's all the game I mean, ways that we unpack we, that. We can't that criticize sense. the game for having been made by humans and not by actual. <laughs> okay, no, that's self-sharing aliens. I mean, like the. Uh, I mean, like the space station. But yes, you're right. Oh, oh right, right, right. Whole breach sector one. Let's cram it with corpses. I'm, I've got four to spare. I'm just saying that hive mind aliens are very well represented in the gaming industry. We don't have to advocate for more representation. <laughs> it's you, you're not you're not wrong. Um, <laughs> I definitely am, <laughs> but I appreciate you not calling me out because um, I nearly bared my whole ass on stream on on the internet, the entire buttock. Indeed. Now uh, I realise I've taken a small uh, tech support break. Are you going to need a break? Oh yes, of I, sh I should other, probably take a, of um, other break reasons. Yeah, a hand a hand um, break. Now that we know the tech is working, um, yes. and we will be able to sustain it for a longer period of time. Yes, cool. So, um, what I'll do is, um, in game, I'll you know do the thing where I hey go back to this nice menu. Um, Love it. I guess I'm just going to get up and wander away because I can't change screens without the game being weird. Um, yeah, sure. But now I've learned my lesson, and I think in future instances where games don't like me changing OBS things, which is so weird. Um, but okay, yeah. sure. If that's that just is how very that works, strange. Then sure. Um, then. What I need to do is make a be right back sign that I can literally like just drag upwards within the scene. Yeah. Because it's, okay. it's, like, it's like layers in any sort of, you know, um, image editing program. Um, anyway. Well, yeah. if you have a piece of paper, you could just stick one over your camera. <laughs> nah. Nah. It's all good. Um, oh, give it five. Get up. Give it a stretch. Um, yeah. Back in a minute. Chat. And you too, Beautiful. Justin, I guess, my host. Fantastic. All right, see you soon, my see you host. Soon. Oh, host, my host. I return. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, look at us headphoning up at the same time. Nice, nice. Gotta Synchronized. Mm. I do, I do like my new haircut. I'm glad. I'm glad it worked. It's very it's stylish. Different. Well, it's it's just the same haircut. I I mean, I say the same haircut. Um, I almost never see the same hairdresser twice because I often see student hairdressers. Um, but this is a good version of your haircut. Yeah, I, I, I of the one haircut. I've gotten to the point where I literally take in photos. Like I've got photos of versions of this haircut that I've liked. I show them, <laughs> and then I get variations on that functionally, and that's fine because it's just hair. You know. Yeah. Right. I want it to be a general shape, but that's that's fine. <laughs> oh. I had a um, quick chat with um, Crafty, as I often do on these breaks. Um, yes, I always do on these breaks. And what was um, interesting about the discussion is Crafty and I agree on um, my perspective when it comes to the, you know, the teleporter discussion. 
but when it comes right. to the annihilation of the of the other um I mean, Crafty is just more okay with the multiple selves thing, whereas I, on a fundamental level, I I, I think I'm me, and I wouldn't yep. think the other one was me, which is, uh, well, that's, and that's an emotional thing. And that's interesting because for me, I I tend towards that, but that's because I don't understand how a communal comp consciousness could make sense, like in terms of computations and atoms and stuff like i know how the brain currently works mm -hmm. not not all of it i'm not i'm not yep. a brain scientist e-man of course um, but uh i do know some things about the brain and um uh like i i know enough that i know that there's like synapses and stuff that fire right um that would be fundamentally different if you put them in another person like the, it just wouldn't work uh, exactly in the same yeah. way. Yeah. Well, the whole the whole thing is, <clears throat> yeah. The whole thing has you know it's it's um it's ridiculous. I probably didn't need to preface reference. that with I'm not a brain scientist. Yeah, I think I think um the words <laughs> following it did the job. There was a lot of heavy lifting with that opening statement that was not required. Um, Look, I just like to cover my bases, you know. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can tell you personally that a lot of my perspective on the um. Uh, you know what? It, what is me and what isn't me? Oh, I made too many selves, and now they're all just falling to their death. That's great. <laughs> Bye. Wait, are they? Are they dead? Oh, I don't think they're dead. I think I just need to. They just further down. Yeah, I need Can to you create... swap to them. I need to. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I swapped to one, but too high up. So I swapped. <laughs> I swapped into the clone that just, just fell to its it. death and just like face planted into its own crotch, like just bam! <laughs> oh Jesus! What a way to go! What a what a game! Oh uh, yeah, I'm so glad we're playing this. This is horrible, Poor Gary. Yeah, um, I I don't look back with fondness upon previous iterations of myself, and I do think of me in the past as being a previous iteration. Like there's a, there's right, a sense right. of breakage there, um, and a sense of dissociation, which. I don't know. I don't know whether that's a mental health yeah. thing. It probably is. Well, I mean, and you you have this chain of experiences that that is the self, right? Like me now is different to me before this stream. I've certainly learned a lot about my tech setup that I didn't have beforehand. And that you can imagine that the clone of me that went off and did something else would not have learned those things about the tech setup, right? So yeah, so yeah. then they are different beings even though they were cloned at one point and at one point they had a common uh, internal layout as soon as they are not embodied in the same way uh they are not clones fundamentally like they're they're, they're not identical in the sense that of, of the thing that is you know du duplicated if you get what i mean like yeah w when you and and this is why the third person perspective is so interesting to me here because you can imagine that even though you are placing a series of bodies on a grid and our perspective is this external third person shot that doesn't change you can imagine that if you had a chain of these different things and like imagine if you had fog of war that extended from which which one you were embodying Ooh. at any particular point in time right yeah that would be so good you, you're still controlling the whole set but you you can only see from the perspective of the character you're playing as suddenly you have much more of a sense of that perspective even though you're still playing the third person game well you all of your other it's kind of the same when you send them off the edge yeah of the screen there I mean, yeah yes and no in the sense that the, you don't what this game um is missing is you know <clears throat> if it is a hive mind thing what it is missing is um also the physical sensations all we ever get is line of sight but if you remove that right then they're right. just fumbling you know yeah, it's 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 interesting. Uh, did um, did you happen to see the um the the quick cutscene or not cutscene but like the whole um vision the the uh, the scope of this scene extended we could see below and someone was moving along a sort of um a path, a sort of flowing not really river. Unfortunately, it, uh, basically there's someone else here in this station and the game wanted us to know and I I bet it's probably the other. Are we trying to work our way towards them or trying Possibly? to avoid them? I mean, we might be the clone that's coming to kill the original, you know? Ah, uh, excellent. 
<laughs> we run into the other character and then there's a cutscene where our character draws a gun. <laughs> yep. It's 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 <laughs> good. It's two Spider Man dot gif, right? Yep, yep. Uh log five, cargo overview, essential supplies, food, four tons, uh, hundred and ninety seven days at full crew complement, water, uh, three thousand liters emergency fluids and storage, seven thousand liters in recirculation, miscellaneous research equipment, two hundred and one items registered, spare parts, five thousand nine hundred and sixty seven items registered, Xeno samples and finds forty four hundred and thirty two items registered. I'm always intrigued by the, the numbers that get pulled out of a hat. Well, I guess that's the question. Are these numbers pulled out of a hat, right? Did someone sit down and think, okay, this is what the station is like, this is how many people? Because that's unfortunately what I would do, and I would probably waste a lot of time, because you could probably just pull these numbers out of a hat. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how many... It'd be really interesting if they've just taken that off of, like, a... Um like a p proposed mission calculation thing like someone's someone's just written an article about like what you would roughly need for a mission to plan like x planet or whatever like that yeah and you've just written that all down or, or like a ship going from well, you know from a to b i mean the, the the water and the recirculation of water certainly um is possibly beyond what we it, it's beyond current experience perhaps but in, in terms of like tons of food and the amount of people like, i feel like that one's easy right well, you could imagine that in terms of, like, how much, yeah, I don't know, how much air is on a plane and how much air is needed to be, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to be smarter than I am. <laughs> it, that's all good. Well, um, well, welcome to my channel, my friend. Um, oh, it's, it's Watcher number six. I am the only one that believes in the other dimension. I call it space. One moves through space. Yes? How? Oh, interesting. So because hmm. they're all in a communal frame of mind, they are not... There's no sense in which any of them move from one spot to another spot because they're all in all spots at once. Yeah, um, that's novel. So the the idea of swapping between the locations is oh, is it is, is inherently ridiculous? Human? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I mean, because <sighs> you should be experiencing it as this mass of five bodies. We should just never have picked up this device. <laughs> like, yes, what the yeah, yeah. Fuck, like. Do we have an option to drop the device and walk away? No, no. <laughs> just go climb these vines? Just lay down your tools and go home? No, um, this is just who we are and what we do with our time. Um, Surely we can sell this device for parts. It's. I know that all of this is for a story, but it just feels incredibly convenient that the device A, works for humans, and B, works in this way. Like, it... I find it very convenient that the, na the environment literally has an up arrow. <laughs> I thought it was... Okay, so ima imagine creating a perfect version of yourself and watching it die because you weren't sure if the thing up above you was um, a platform. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, oh, maybe, no, that's maybe this time. That may well, have been added what if... by the uh, first person. <laughs> okay, so this is the flight because I can, I can have four running at any given time, right? Interesting. Oh, no. No, that's what the arrow is for. Oh no, Justin. I think I know exactly what we have to do up there. Ah, shit. All right, well, let's go this way first. Okay. Ooh. I mean, I, I think what we have to do up there is test um, uh, Galileo's theories about the movement of objects <laughs> in space. Yeah. Oh no, this one's going to be... A, I can. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be like a, a reflex test. I make this one fall, and then I teleport into it as it flies by. Through it through the hole, yeah. So all of these levels, the thing about this game is that it is a very interesting concept that we are pouring a lot into, and possibly a lot more than a lot of people would bother to do right, because of who right. we are as people, and because I've invited you here to do this, right? Sure, sure. So, it, and that's good, and we should do that. I think it is uh, uh, valiant, in fact, that we um, make such an effort. Um, we're not pricks I think at all. It's this, noble. Is, this is cool. Yeah, yeah, we're here. I think we are intellectuals. I, I think we might uh, fool people into thinking that. And um, then we are playing a platformer, and platformers, more than other games, are gamey in the sense that the spaces that we're in make right. even less sense, right? Why is any of this like this? Yeah, what, why is this block just hovering? I mean, I understand that it's connected to something that is in the, in the background of the shot, but it, it is just a guy... Oh, dear. 
<laughs> Too busy chatting with Justin, it just killed. <laughs> uh, why are the why is this ship have giant exposed man-sized cogs? Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's not very good um, design. Oh dear goodness! Imagine being okay. Imagine being the one up the top, and you walk forward because <laughs> the other version of you walks forward. And as you step oh, off, no. you're like, "Oh my god! It, no, it, it's actually way further. No, p don't teleport into this body. No, nope, just it's don't. Oh, oh, you've done it. Okay, good. All right, fine." Cool, thank yeah, you. Yeah, if, if the bodies could talk to each other and say, hey, actually, you what? know how we share our experiences? You know, it, it, um, it's, it's you worse than that. You don't want to share this one. It's worse than that, because if it's actually, if it's a swap, the clone is like, oh, this is so deep, and they're going to teleport into me, and I'm not going to say anything. Because then I'll be the one on the other side, laughing. I get to go home. Oh, dear. <laughs> how was it down there? It's fine. You love it. It's fine. There's ponies. More ponies than you can imagine. Okay. So does, does that mean that after you get down, you then have to place another guy? I need to place another one to the right, because I saw a thing there on the right. This is a right. reflex tester. Yeah, you can see the light down here. There's a platform that I need to get to. Yeah, oh, okay. Woof. Thankfully, time slows down a bit when I um, am placing a Chloe. Yeah. All right, so... Goodness. Nope, missed. That's fine. <laughs> and I know they died because I've got four people down in the corner. Woof. Is this what it's like in well, HR? Yeah, this is this is just uh, feeding people into the. Uh, God. This is uh, this is what temp agencies look like. This is what it's like to hire people for a call center. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm just not very good at um, stepping into these. You got it first time. Yeah, which I, is, I... um, that's classic video game, right? Where the first time you jump in and try and beat the boss, you get 97% of the way, and then every subsequent time, for a while, it's like you can only knock off, like, a tiny bit of that bar of health. Yeah, nope. yeah. Okay. Am I, am I leading I... too much? Yeah, I, I think you need to just... It, it's very narrow at the end oh. of that tunnel, right? Such a thin aperture. I Ooh. actually want to try the flight. I think I get that more. Because I think that's just point up and be ridiculous. It's just... It's just point yeah. up and then you're trying to switch to the one in the air? Yep. Yep. Yeah, see, I like that one. With the one Enterprise and clone still at the bottom, like, it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, man. Tell me what the view's like up there. <laughs> and be honest. See, again, why is there this big arrow? Like, why? It's... I don't... I don't get it at all. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's, I mean, I've seen other games that have this concept, but that have no pretense of, and it's also teaching us about the future and what it might really be like when there are clones and we can chat to aliens and things like that. That's, you that's know. actually, that's a really deep well, because I think certainly, um, so far in this stream, we've just played a lot of interesting puzzle games. And then once it's right, placed right. within some kind of narrative conceit, which for me is, I, I don't just play puzzle games, right? Right. If it's just puzzles, I'm not that interested. And in fact, going through the um, the itch itchio um, <gasps> BLM bundle, trying to you know right. uh, figure out what games to play next, what what to sort of line up under you know what kind of streams I want to do. There's a bunch of puzzle yeah. games, and if it doesn't have a hook, I'm I kind of just set it aside for now because just puzzles isn't enough. I need I need a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's interesting that that narrative offers you something within this game, but also, um, it is not particularly. It, it I don't know. It's it like it's it's offering you something just by being a narrative, uh, not by being in any way good or, or like having anything significant to say. Okay, so I've figured out how flight is actually possible. You gotta hold down oh, right, right click. Okay. And actually left click instead. Oh nope, never mind. Um, like you're holding down right click to stay in the um, placement mode. So you're in bullet time. Yeah. Yeah, but then you you immediately left click. Well, what I've been doing, um, I mean that still doesn't help in the other puzzle because I'm trying to target a clone as it falls. But in terms of flight, the way to get through it, it seems, is to um, sort of ride those two mouse buttons. 
because I, I was trying to like place and then click on it afterwards whereas you know you don't have to do that you just sort of hold down yeah yeah you, you can it's Sa possible to sort Sa of Sa is calling one of us a snob in chat um i mean fair point oh where uh, are you? um who <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I imagine that um, simply in, in saying that um, uh, it... Uh, like, I'm not saying that the game is is subpar. I'm saying that in terms of the philosophy, it's trying to... Um, it's, it's unclear whether it actually is interested in having a discussion about this philosophy or using the veneer of this philosophy as a way of giving the game a, a sense of an extra dimension, right? Yeah. Like, um, There's a really because, cool game that I've forgotten yeah. the name of. Crafty might remember the name of it. It's a game about a hotel. Right. And um, it started out as just a, a first-person puzzle game. Like, I, I, I'm going to say like Portal, but not really. But, you know, having a bit of that aesthetic. Right, right. Um, and having its own really unique mechanics. And then um, when it got released properly, like polished and whatnot, um, it had this really cool narrative conceit that was interesting but did feel a little bit dissonant. It was very much an afterthought. Um, and it was still really good, but knowing that there was that right. disconnect there, it explained a lot of the, oh, so that's, oh, okay. Like, it did make it a bit sort of um, weird. But, I mean, it, it won a BAFTA or something. Like, it was, um, it's a fucking good game, and I would love to play it on this stream. Um, but, yeah, it's just interesting, that sort of that narrative shell, what that can do, what that can add or detract. Yeah, yeah, well, I, yeah, and, and, I mean, I'm, I'm saying this partially because, you know, we, we are here to comment on, on the game, um, like, I, I don't have deep thoughts about, like, I, I'm reviewing the film while I'm watching it, you know, it's, yeah. it's the, uh, you know, there's a, there's a sense of just shut up and watch the movie, but, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but 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 certainly it seems like they wanted to make a cool platformer, and they also wanted to say something, but they didn't necessarily want to use the platforming to say the things. Um, I mean, I think yeah. Um, I, I honestly, I think it just comes to the fact that this is a platformer. Had this been first right, person, right. there wouldn't have been nearly as much of this obvious like here's a big arrow because you need to lead players, right? Like you need to. And in fairness, like what this game has done is. <laughs> That's so grisly. Just a oh, jeez. That that was one Sorry, of mine. I just but saw I, that and left. I just walked around a bit, and that meant that uh, somebody fell from a great height. Oh my god, this game. Um, Goodness. Okay, yeah. that that you know what? That actually felt very compelling to me. Yeah. That moment of oh, I'm just walking around. I'm fucking around here. Yeah. And the game gives you a consequence, but but that's emergent narrative, right? That's not the game didn't you know, set that up to happen. Yeah. Um, I suppose it set it up so that it had the capacity for that to happen. So, you know. Can I? Crafty is saying the Spectrum Retreat. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In chat. And it is it is um, a good game. Make, make no mistake. Um, and indeed, like, I, I've watched it played through, I think, twice now. And the second time it felt more packaged and, and fluid. Like, the concept did actually gel with the mechanics. Um, yeah. I, I guess, I mean... You can tell from the games that we've played so far that a game that doesn't, si you know, that that doesn't take itself super seriously, um, and just has a really interesting aesthetic, um, will we'll do a lot for for a game, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, we, games don't have to be commenting on all this stuff. But this game clearly kind of wants to do that a bit. Yeah. Um, it's saying something so big, and so evocative. Yeah. Right. That you kind of can't be... You either have to be flippant with it, I think. Like, just make it a joke, yeah. like um, Donut County, right? Donut County-style right, joking right. with this would be... Oh, we'd be laughing along and we'd be talking the deep stuff, but it would... it would. I don't know, this is this is going for spooky. You know what? I, I think the... I think the um, you've got a hint of that. It, I, I can't hear the crunch. Yep. Um, but I imagine the, the crunch element adds a bit of that kind of... You know, and and the really like meaty grinders at the top there are kind of playing at it in a not taking itself too seriously kind of way. I mean, I'm um, not hearing those at least. Um, but yeah, yeah like, again, I don't know the 
Oh, interesting. The grinder stopped being red when you got the thing. Yeah. Um, I the, guess to make the, it easier to get back up. Yeah, these, these these are absolutely puzzle rooms that like let you out once you've got the orb. We, we're collecting we're collecting orbs, and once we've got the orb, we're allowed to leave. I'm always fascinated by the choices games make in terms of um, if you've got a puzzle room, whether there is yeah. a natural way to get out designed within the puzzle, or whether the room has to be like success, and then it just lets you leave. Because that's a I mean, that's up to the puzzle, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, this is so fascinating as well because it's built in the style of like a temple run sort of thing, right? Like where, where you've got like the leafy space and then you've got the more mechanical space and you've got, um, you know, but those spaces, are, are we supposed to be on a spaceship? I can't remember. What was the setting? Where Are we? Or we are, are we currently colony? in a space station. Um, so yes, right. Uh, okay. a, a spaceship. Um, uh, Saz saying so, that I'm the snob this time. Um, uh, saying I don't play games for fun; they have to make me do a thonk. Um, I mean, honestly, that's mostly true. Um, I'll, I'll cop to that. Um, I will say I play a lot of uh, MTG Arena, and I definitely don't play that in terms of thonk for like the greater setting. Like, I don't give a shit at, at, about the greater plot of. I mean, I do, but like that's not why I play it. I'm not sitting here like rubbing my chin over it. But also, I play MTG Arena to have a thonk, right? I like I like the puzzles that Magic presents. Um, right. Yeah, that's um. If you re I, if I you remove so... the social aspect of a game where it's like playing um, at a table with people, if you remove that and it's just me dicking around in a game, yeah, I just I don't I don't play puzzles on my own. I tried to play Sudoku's for a bit and it just like they're. Well, um, no, that's okay. Into a lot of uh, Sudoku. Uh, that's been that's been my flex. Uh, I've been watching lots of uh, people solving Sudoku's. Really? On Sudoku, rather, on YouTube. Um, Am I like oh really, uh, really complex ones? Have I shown my internet ass again? Am I pronouncing? Am I pronouncing it wrong? Oh no, no, no! Sorry, I. This is. Uh, I think I mentioned previously on the stream or something like that that occasionally I catch myself mispronouncing like Japanese words and things, and I try to say like try to fix it. The, it's saying sudokus is like saying animes okay <laughs> gotcha yeah um yeah it, it pluralizes t without mess nonograms uh nonograms slash pick yeah. or whatever i i played a bunch of those i played the pokemon version of those on the 3ds because that is amazing in airports i could just dissociate and 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 tap 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 and um you know solve little puzzles so yeah there are some games that i do yeah. um Says saying, I'm not judging you, just your language. I mean, you're welcome to judge my. Yeah, you're welcome to do both. <laughs> they're both. Yeah. They're both real. I, they're both me. I think. I think though that there's a distinction between to to be very charitable and and maybe you were just being a snob, but I think that um that there is a version of that of that discussion that is um, you know, if a game kind of tells you this is going to be a game where you're going to think about stuff. This is going to be a game where we're going to talk about philosophy and we're going to talk about cloning and we're going to talk about teleportation and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. Well then what have you done to, to justify that within the game? What, what is the game going to teach us about any of these concepts? So, um, so, um, and yeah, because, because it's not just the puzzles, it's also giving you all of this discussion, you know, in the logs and all those sorts of things. So, so two points to that. I'm going to read this out. And then I'm going to say my two yes, points. Yes, please do. And I'm going to say them out loud so that you hear them. I'm going to I'm going to give like the the two things I want to talk about so I don't forget them because I, I just I get scatterbrained. The first is um how this has hap like how that perspective has been borne out in the various games about AI that I've played. A interesting. And B uh, yeah this idea of um uh like ludo narrative like what are, what are the mechanics say about the world and whether the two. I mean, the two are absolutely linked, and the discussion about how linked they are um, has been fraught in the past in, um, in game criticism. But I'm going to read this out. Um, log 6, emergency Please evac do. 1. Oh, God, an emergency evac. That's cool. That's, that's good. It's good for everyone involved. <laughs> uh, few areas of the station remain habitable. The cargo bay in Sector 1 has everything we need, food and water, greenhouse access, but it may not be safe for long. No one knows what's causing this. Okay, so... Sam Cook. We had some messages from a Sam, didn't we? Yeah. What, what names have we seen so far? We've seen uh, Sam was one of the people talking about husbands, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Sam had a husband. Yeah. Um, 
I thought that Sam was someone on the planet, but maybe they came from the planet back to here. I guess it's the same like right. Um, community, right? It's just whether they're in one place or another, I guess. Um, yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's one team uh, of, of a, a variable size split across two sites, I believe is, is the case. Um, yeah, interesting. So the, point, the points you were going to address were the um, uh, how that's that kind of discussion has come up in the AI games you've played mm -hmm. and also how uh, mechanics and narrative interact. Yeah, so... These were the two points. In terms of um, AI, um, this is where I would get mad at some games and be just, you know, more pleased with others, which is a really vacuous way of right. saying that. But um, some games did their research, right? Some games, yeah. the people who... and. This is not to say that the people making these games had to do that amount of research. They don't have to no, no, no. Uh, dive in. Certainly, they don't have to dive in in the way that I have. Like, I've approached this research in a specific way from a specific direction. It's giving me specific knowledge and perspective um, that is not authoritative, but it does knock a bunch of tropes into a cocked hat. And I would just keep seeing these tropes. And so, there, you know, I, I did get weary, unfortunately. Um, and I mainly got... I got tired of being mad at games that didn't deserve to be mad at, that I that I didn't have to be pissed off at. It's just that I was doing it a lot, right? Um, but yeah, there there is an issue where um, it's really easy to make a game that has an AI character in it, but the majority of the time it is just a person. It's 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 just it's just a human that you've skinned as a you know um, as a as a robot or a computer. You've just given it human characteristics and haven't thought more about it. And that's not invalid, and certainly not invalid in the genre. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I guess in this uh, game, it's maybe more atmospheric than philosophical, if I can be. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it, it's, it's more trying to create a mood uh, than it is trying to start a discussion. It's, it's yeah, um, which, which is... Part of why you have those very vague kind of what is here, what is which, which makes more sense when you're talking about alien beings that don't know the uh, don't don't know what the idea of location is. So that that actually those phrases start to make more sense now. Yeah, um, yeah, it's unfortunate how wanky it sounded at first because it absolutely didn't have to. Yeah, I wonder if I'd seen that now, if I would have found it quite. I mean, it's yes, I probably still would have found it quite wanky it's a very wanky thing yeah i, I um, think um and that and that's just like the order in which you deliver information right like they perhaps wanted that to be a reveal um and so they wanted to yeah. do a bit more work around saying other things yeah yeah God, just why does this room exist i mean again like okay so so on to the point of what do the mechanics say about the world portal is an example of a game that the mechanics and the world itself all all fit together quite well yes Yes. You... Portal is a game that I imagine we'll come back to a lot when we're talking about like puzzles and platformers and stuff as well, because it is just a perfect intersection of a lot of the things that we care about. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. And so um, Bioshock Infinite um, is a game that um, uh, from a background, um, oh, background, my brain is so frazzled, I'm so sorry. Um, from a sort of games Don't history I. perspective, um, apparently from what I've heard, very much like secondhand, I haven't dug into it yet, but um, there was a lot of discussions around the um, what the mechanics say alongside the plot, because Bioshock Infinite does and says a lot of really interesting things, but then it is also right. a run-of-the-mill shooter. It's a good iteration of the form, it does some good things, it does some, you know, maybe right, not so right. great things, but it sort of undercuts some of the stuff that it says because it's just one of those games. And it is, again, like, right. they wanted to tell this interesting story, but then they also just wanted the Bioshock punch-run-shoot experience. And I still think they work together well. It just maybe says something that they weren't... I have a different read on it, maybe. Yeah. Um, again, I've got to do a bit more research because, um, you know, uh, that other um, stream thing I want to do with you when we talk about games like this. But, um, yeah, I think about that sort of stuff a bunch. And apparently, um, Bioshock Infinite and the discussions around it, around Ludo narrative... Um, a lot of people got pissy and mad, and that sort of stifled uh, the the discussion space around it, because people were like, "Well, can't it just be a game? Can't it just do X?" Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I, so I can't speak to Bioshock because I haven't played it. So, I, I or I mean, I 
I could, but it wouldn't be as good as me talking about Portal, which is a game I've played and loved. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think that the the thing that Portal does, well, I mean, Portal does a lot of things very well. Um, it's Portal's kind of a good example because it does a lot of things very well and kind of a bad example because it's hard to highlight an individual one that is relevant to the discussion you're actually having. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I think one of the things it does well in this context is that... Um, each of the puzzles is teaching you something about either the atmosphere, like or the, or the mood, or how you solve puzzles within the game, or what you should be looking for in the world, or those sorts. Of, so all of those narrative elements around, like, um, talking about, uh, you know, whether the narrator can be trusted and those sorts of things, mm. also play out in how likely you are to follow the the signage of the game itself so it kind of deconstructs some of the language and signposting of games by challenging the narrator and then having also having arrows that point you in a particular direction um w while the direction that you actually have to go to progress is not in the direction of that arrow right yeah in this game you have this challenge that's being presented where you have this idea of a swapper and the idea of, you know, I'm potentially creating copies of myself and then killing them. But you also have this very, like, harshly hewn out of the landscape literal arrow that is not serving a narrative purpose of telling you, you know, anything about the world or anything like that. It's just a platform element yeah you know yeah. The, the the zoning areas in this are just zoning areas to make the puzzle work um and so and and you can have that but i think that um you know uh form has to serve function in some of it i guess would be the really really wanky way of putting it um i, I think i think the you know i think what it comes down to is um this stuff is the game loses a bit loses um it would be better if it wasn't like that but the, the game is still amazing it does not detract yes, from that the yes, overall yeah, yes. game being great like this is one aspect where it falls down but that might just be the nature of the beast right the combination of these ideas expressed in this way maybe there isn't a good way to design around that right um, and indeed, yes, nor should yes. they have to. And like as we've been saying, not everyone is going to think about this stuff. We're unpacking this game to a degree that a lot of people might not bother with. And that's fine. That's valid. Sure, like, sure. These are all valid playthroughs. Our playthroughs are valid. Their playthroughs are valid. Speaking of mood, I love the bisexual lighting in this room. Well, I've just um, discovered that um, I greatly uh, purple is the most annihilating color of all in the flag um, in this context, in that um, I cannot create nor um, swap to in purple because it is both red and blue this makes sense i i support this um and i'm i'm very uh i'm very fond of it oh no i okay no i i keep forgetting the way the light works while i'm in the light i can still do stuff so it's it's about where the uh pointer is going right if i point right. if i'm within the light but i point outside of the light i can still create something which is kind of counterintuitive because i think of this as sort of um an anti-magic field, right? Like, I, I, I see yeah, it as a yep. space that prevents anything from happening. But it's not actually... You can do it from within that space, you just can't put something into the space. Oh, yeah. um, I can't... But I can't swap out of it. That's noteworthy. So that's Oh, weird. interesting. Yeah. That is a strange... So something is about... It's partially about where the beam emanates from and partially about where it lands. That's a really interesting... Again, that takes me slightly out of it. Yeah. But yes, I'm 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 being deliberately very picky here. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, this this is critique, right? I I guess yeah. I I guess that's the that's something that I would like to see this game do, that I'm not seeing it do just yet. Yeah. Let's let's see if it does it as the game progresses. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like a lot of writing that I see in games. Um, sometimes I'll see stuff and I'm like, okay, this is functional. It more or less worked. I think it could have done with another pass. Like, it's not that it's garbage and should be yeah, thrown yeah. away. It's just redraft. Just, you know, give it another go. See if you can clean this up a bit, right? I I also, as much as I talk about games and, and movies and differences there, I am watching this as 
a movie, you know. <laughs> so it's true. It's the experience true. of just watching this makes me more critical inherently because I'm not getting that good, you know, that f that fun, uh, positive response of solving the puzzle. Well, myself. The, the good news is this is a game where the controls are so simple where we could actually swap back and forth week to week if we wanted to. I would love that. Like, there are some games where that's probably not the best idea if, um, like, muscle memory is is required to a high degree. Yeah, yeah. But um, I, I think there's plenty of games where we could, you know. Well, let's see how we go in uh, in future weeks. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't me dying. It was the corpse I dropped from a great height. i got to say, the harsh lighting really helps. Like, when I drag this torchlight across the crumpled that form That is of very myself. pleasing. Ugh. Okay. Um... Cool. The lighting in this game, the, a lot of the visual design stuff is gorgeous. Um, and that's, well, I mean, that's the beauty of this being sci-fi, right? And the bloom. Right? This, this, so much bloom. Well, it was the, it was the era of bloom. Um, I'm so glad we left all this bloom in. I'm so glad we left all this bloom in and the game fucking works and didn't crash the stream, which I'm, I'm, is essential. <laughs> um, yeah, my end broke. I Maybe because I had to handle all the bloom. Well, yeah, this is what I get for hand. outsourcing the processing power um, to a pleb such yep, as yourself. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, in terms of the sci-fi aesthetic, it. imagine if this had been fantasy. Yeah. Imagine wizards instead, right? But we don't have an expectation that fantasy is uh, speculative about real scenarios. Exactly. Well, and here... Uh, mm -mm. Almost, almost got me started on the difference between sci-fi and fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> so close. I tried. I tried. Oh. Okay. Everyone will appreciate that I tried. So this little um, river here of like um, inverse uh, dragon fruit in it um, is yeah. what I saw the other person floating by on this strange river of particles. Oh, exciting. So they were just, and they were just traveling along here like it was normal. So in this game, these are just meant to be the byways. I'm, I'm very, I'm down with that. I absolutely support uh, the idea of a pneumatic tube based transport network. Well, I'm now doing it and old, oh, oh dear. Oh, thank God. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's as much as I'm going to do. <laughs> I thought, I th I... <laughs> because YouTube will pull your video. <laughs> yes, let's please not have that happen. Um, I thought it was going to suddenly shoot me into a puzzle. No, it was just traveling me across a bay. It's just introducing me to that mechanic. See, that's always nice. And I have to say the... Oh, oh, here's another person. How did you get back here? Why are you following me? Look, it's too late now to apologize. Just let me go. <laughs> I like how they're captioned as other person. Oh, I love that. We are absolutely chasing them. We're, we're them, right? We're them. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. what is here? You know? <laughs> I mean, it's it's a shame that you don't have the tools to create this great little Foley joke, but had you said that, and then had you um, inhaled a massive bong rip, I think that would have absolutely made the video. I, I'm, I'm very sorry that, I mean, I have a glass of water. I could try just blowing bubbles into it, but I don't know if it would have quite the same effect. I, I don't know either. It's not... Oh, of course I can't do that. Hang on. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, no. Game game bug. Game bug? Yeah, I can't move from this. Oh, no, there's well, a... Well, you there's... can't run against the stream, there, right? There's a wall... That's not a... Okay, yeah, there's, there's a wall here. You, you would be running against the flow of the current. Yeah, yeah. Will it just not let you run that way? Yeah, I, I. so this is one of the slight problems with the level design is that these, you know, ridged, interesting uh, poles here um, that I can pass right. through look very similar to the thicker variegated walls that I can't pass through. Oh, there, there's a wall? There's a wall up there. That's what I ran into. I'll do it again. Oh. It's either that or it's a, like an actual glitch, but I'm pretty sure it's a... Yeah, yeah, this is a wall, and the button up there is for the wall. Oh, and it's... Yeah, it's also so dark that um, it's very difficult to see the, um, the difference as well. I imagine those art assets, if you just had them in pure light, would be fine. Well, that's, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, maybe... Oh, okay. Yep, so this is a... 
Where is my? Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill my. Yeah, the, it's they're probably already dead. Okay. Oh no, of course I hit the light. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Very fun. A lot of these. So you've kind of got to jump against that wall and then go back and then jump against that wall and then go back, right? Yeah, I need to um, I need to get a body there at the time that yeah. So um, you need to jump forward, let yourself go back. Jump forward, let yourself go back. This is um, one of those instances where a game... Um... Oh, damn. I, I went past the light. Um, well, we've solved the puzzle, but now we have to iterate right. on that. Right? Now we have to actually make it happen within the oh. mechanics of the game. Oh, it wasn't even that difficult. Okay. Fun fact. If I am crammed up against a wall by one of these force rivers... Yeah. I still can use the movement controls for the other clone. Those inputs still work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that the flow will stop you moving at all as your as yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh that uh, oh man. To the extent that that's relevant. Here's our next screenplay for a film that um we won't redraft or make. Um this technology but the original person is like encased in stone or trapped somewhere. And in that space, they're just controlling um, other entities, right? Like they're twitching. You know, the um, the the um, the mirror neurons in their head are absolutely having a fit. Um, God. <laughs> uh, why does Twitch? Th oh, Twitch plays the swapper. Justin, why, why does, does the, the other, other mind scream? Why does the other? Okay, so again, this is the aliens going. Okay, so you're 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 in one spot. Or, you know, you're doing what we do. You're being what we are. Uh, why is one of you unhappy? And going why does one of you keep screaming when they go crunch? Yeah. I do not understand these bones. I, I, I'm, I think that the multiple motion, the, um, you know, the move one, move all mechanic that this game hinges upon, that the puzzles hinge upon, um, yeah. problematizes the idea that they are multiple selves with agency i think they're trying right, to do both right. i think that i think this is where the the mechanics absolutely deviate from what the game is trying to do i i reckon that we are essentially becoming a hive mind but the hive mind that we are getting these messages from is completely disembodied is that the mess idea you're getting as well yeah i mean also, what on earth is that? Yeah, it's bright. Um, it's amazing. It's like crushing rocks and stuff. Yeah, it's like... Oh. In order to generate flames? The design in this game is, is absolutely stellar. Um, well, we can't get up there yet. We need to get more orbs. But we always need to get more orbs. What is this? Oh, that's the console. Did I not activate that console? Was I too busy prattling? I do prattle. Um, you must contain more orbs. The hive might... Interesting, Combi saying the hive mind of all your dead clones. Oh. That, that's who you're chatting to. I love that as a concept. Oh my god. Just like... They've unionized. <laughs> oh, okay. I press E. Okay. Pressing the console means that I can now um, retraverse that space. So that was actually a good idea to do. Yeah. Um, my clones, 26 male, 26 male, 26 male, 26 male, have unionized. We should try and get in. Oh, of course, we want to get in here because, um, not you. Damn it, clone. All right, come with me. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just going to step into this. Oh. Crunch. I live to meme chat. Can you go up in that pipe just by sending a clone up in it? No, there's there's a wall. Um, this this is why I need orbs, I think, so I can open that and get into. Oh, okay. The... I you mean, can, you can't send it around somehow. No, I like think there's I... no gap in the wall. No, I reckon I reckon we're going to that, and the the puzzle is pretty clear, yeah. right? Like it's going to be a teleport up in, and then um, you know swim up river, and try not to get crushed yeah. with rocks. Be a be a good salmon, I think, is the lesson there. Um. Well, you know what? It's just gone nine. Um, my hands are terribly cold because uh, I haven't been. Why don't we gloves. become salmon next week? Yeah, I think I think we I think we pin this now. Um, put a pin in it.
Justin, this has been lovely. Tech issues aside, once again, uh, this has been great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, it won't plague us when we are in person, hopefully. This um, tech issue won't, right? This specific one yes, we can finally... This, this very specific one we can put to bed. Yeah. Um, so that'll be exciting for me. It's going to be good. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I've, um, yeah, the, the study is not quite ready, but I did sort of test out the space. Like I, I, I set up the camera and I moved chairs and I was like, okay, you know, two people can sit here, like chairs up against yeah, one me. another, but. Bye, Saz. Oh, bye, Saz. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I, I'm very keen for it. I, I think, um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, I mean. Besides anything else, we will be able to hear each other the entire time. So uh, um, it's possible that no one else will be able to hear us. Yeah, we, we, but, we need um, to make a conscious effort to look at chat while we're doing all of this, because otherwise it's going to go to shit. <laughs> but here's the other thing. We can both respond we'll to nice things time. in real time. Things can happen in the game, and I can go, <gasps> and then you can also uh, have a sharp intake of breath, I guess, if you want. I mean, It's, it's true. It's, it's true. Ch chat can't um, build up anticipation for me to see a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, wait for it. It is oh, a God. disappointment. <laughs> yep. Right, yeah. If anything, we build up anticipation for chat to see a thing. That's true. That's where it's at. It's us against chat. You're right. We finally got there. We're finally antagonizing Twitch. Let's not antagonize Twitch chat. They're lovely people. I love Thank all you so of them. much, everybody. Thank you, uh, everyone. I think Thank everyone's you. heading off. Let, in let's chat, let's do so. the same. All right. Um, see you next week, everyone, where um, we will be not exactly this person, but perhaps another version of this person or people. I look forward to it. Uh, yeah, check out all my shit, everyone. Oh yes, yes. Bye. Do do check out Neptune today. Um, you you could write for Neptune today, perhaps, or draw for it. Do you have it within you? It's of true. You do. It's true. You, um, or or do you not? That's that's also fine. That's also fine. It, um, it'd want to be um, because I think most people on yeah. Earth will not write for Neptune. On balance, it's it's true. It's a sad fact. Um, We've all got to bear that. Be you know? An eight thousand page. <laughs> print magazine uh, a new tome for the age just is a new farmer's almanac just reinvent the phone book justin it's what we need now more I, than ever I, I would like to i know that i have a piano um, um that is a little bit wonky on one leg you know i could do with a book written by all <laughs> of the people of the earth just to i want the piano to lean in the other direction thank you yeah yeah um all right, all right. jolly good uh big stretch love your work everyone all right bye all thank you justin farewell see you all next week